What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before I get back into playing Black Myth Wukong for my second part, the second part of the walkthrough, just want to go over a couple of mods that I installed that helped me gain back some performance and you might find useful. So here we go. Here's a couple of mods that I think that are great. They're for me, they're absolutely essential. So um, if you have a low spec or a mid range PC and you want to play this game, some of these mods could probably uh, or will probably help you gain performance back. Uh, one of the first ones that I installed is this one. Black Myth Wukong SPF. I don't know what that stands for, but it's supposedly you can read it. You can pause it if you want. I'll, as usual, I'll provide the links to these mods in the video description if you want to check it out for yourselves. Um, it's supposed to help with faster loading times. You read it here by tweaking async related settings, async loading thread. The mod allows assets to load in the background, reducing loading times and potentially eliminating loading pauses during gameplay. Optimize CPU and GPU utilization by tweaking multi core threading or multi-core rendering, multi-core render, yeah, multi-core rendering, multi-core right now on why is it, this is stated twice, but whatever, and multi-threaded shader compilation. Allows the game to utilize the full potential modern CPUs and GPUs. This can result in improved performance, higher frame rates, and more stable gameplay. So I'm not gonna read every single thing here because I just wanna, show you how to install these mods quickly and I want to uh, continue on with my walkthrough. I'm really excited about the game. Great game, by the way. Uh, it's a little difficult for me. I'm not so good at these kinds of games. I s totally sucked at God of War and uh, I'm horrendous when it comes to from soft software games, but um, I'm getting a little better, a little more acclimated to playing Black Myth. I finally beat that one big headed boss. I died like 20 times to it, but all right. So, uh, yeah, this is the first one that you want to install. Hit manual download. And there's other stuff here too. Uh, I didn't install better shadows because I'm using the ray trace shadows. So if you're using ray tracing, don't download this. But if you don't plan on using ray tracing with the game, you can download this and it's supposedly it it's supposed to make the shadows look um, a lot better. Like I said, read this. You can read it if you want. Uh, the description is here. And the high CPU priority tweak is also here. You can download that as well. And that's really easy. All you have to do is just uh, unzip it and double click the, uh, the EXE and it does something to your registry. So if you're concerned about that, make a backup of your registry just in case. All right, the second one is this one, the Enhanced Wukong Visuals. This is not necessary, but if you have a bit of headroom and you want a little more eye candy, I guess, then you can um, install this. You can read this right here. It disables some post-processing effects. I can actually show you how to manually do that. Um, it says, uh, yeah. The effects that were disabled include, but are not limited to, fog, depth of field, lens flare, lens flare, bloom, and there's optional files here. You can enable fog if you want. Um, there is a preset here that's called Epic. If you're not rocking a powerful GPU, I wouldn't mess with this, but um, I tried it and it, it works great for me. Well, then again, I'm, I'm, I have an, you know, an RTX 4090, so I'm, I'm able to do it. Uh, it basically increases the draw distance, shadow resolution models, environmental LODs, foliage, and include in it. What does it say? It also improves ambient occlusion quality. But word of caution it also says it can significantly impact performance. So, like I said earlier, if you have a strong PC, you should be able to run it at good frame rates. So here are the files. Pick the ones you want. If you have a moderate, moderate performing GPU or 
PC then download the first one but if you have a 4080 or a 4090 then you know feel free to check out the epic and here's other stuff you can pick and choose if you want to disable the depth of field the big net uh, vignette only or if you want to re-enable the depth of field it's all here and re-enable the fog it's really up to you so like I said I can show you how to basically manually disable the stuff and this is the anti stutter high CPU priority I download this I downloaded this and it just it's a registry edit and enables high CPU priority basically it helps your PC or it makes your PC or CPU um, allocate more to resources for the game instead of you know if you have other background programs running it disables it or it reallocates the, the resources just strictly for the game yeah that's really about it um, this one is the same thing with the edits that I will show you how to do and yeah that's that's really about it that's really about it um, I'll also show you if you want as a bonus I'll show you how to install reshade and like I said I will provide links to these mods in the video description so yeah that is it for the downloads here are the downloads here as you can see um, you can start with the the engine I and I this is the less sharpening and basically what this is is an um, an engine.ini file so what you want to do is it's in my downloads I don't want to take it out or unzip it but you can just click and drag onto your desktop and I'll show you in a minute what it does you basically you right click it and you open it by ticking on edit in notepad and it's right here and this is what it looks like so look over this and it shows like a whole bunch of um, system settings and also it disables the sharpness because I heard a lot of complaints about the game that um, and I agree by the way so a lot of the textures and the visuals have like they're really too over sharpened I think so this what this INI file does is it disables it and also it you know it gets rid of like uh, the vignetting and depth of field and things like that but I'm gonna be honest with you I tried all these and I got rid of the fog and the volumetric fog and it doesn't really look that good to be honest if you want more performance if you deactivate the fog and volumetrics it does you will gain back frame rate but if you want like really max visuals uh, then I I would leave that alone uh, don't don't disable it so naturally zero is for deactivate and one is for activate so what you want to do is I would just leave this open it up leave it on your desktop and define the your engine.ini file you basically go into your local C drive go to users my name is right there it says Trave I don't know why it says Trave but I you know what I'm not gonna get into it whatever it I try to name it travel something but whatever okay anyways go to app data local and find B1 Hold on one second. Let me put my cigarette out. Got a bad habit of smoking when I game. Well, flat screen games. In VR, I can't smoke. All right, so go to config and Windows. And the same file that says engine.ini is right here. What you want to do is you right click it. And before you do that, go into right click it, go into properties and untick I had it 
ticked onto read only so that way it prevents the game from you know from going back to its default settings so make sure that's unticked if you want to alt you know alter or make any alterations to the ini file right click it again and then go into edit in notepad and i hate it when it does this i wanted to open it up as a separate file but it it's tacked onto yeah i don't know why it does that okay anyways i wanted or i wanted to open up in a separate window but for some reason notepad this is windows 11 that does this kind of shit which i i hate but anyways i digress the original or the i'm sorry the mod is right here and it's under system settings and you'll see it says r.fog value metrics blah 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 pick and choose which one you use you know which one you want by default these settings aren't in here the only thing that's in here is this stuff all these lines of code that says paths by default are the only lines that are in the engine.ini file so what you want to do is you have to add uh, all these lines of code to make some, um, you know, to make changes or alterations to the to the engine, to the engine.ini. So pick and choose which ones you want. For me, this is my particular setup. I copied and pasted everything into my own under the system settings from from this one into my own but i reactivated fog because i personally think it looks better it really adds for me it adds a nice uh, aesthetic it make it gives it a dreamy kind of look and it gives it a sense of like atmosphere and i don't know it just gives it more personality with the remove it's cleaner and you will gain back performance but it just I don't know in my personal opinion it just doesn't look right I, I like the way it looks with the fog especially with the volumetric fog so it's up to your own personal tastes you know everyone has you know different opinions on it but for me I activated the fog volumetric fog I activated or reactivated because naturally it is activated already um, our atmosphere I put back to one the only thing that I deactivated and added zero to is or it's naturally on this this mod already is motion blur quality I have to zero depth of field quality definitely I deactivate it I just don't know I don't like the way it looks and plus I plan on trying uh, I plan on trying this in VR in virtual reality so the depth of field is not going to look right in VR for me so even flat screen I don't like depth of field or motion blur so like I said it's up to you if you like it activate if you want a more cinematic look i guess you know change it to one for me like i said i have it to zero and then here is the sharpening stuff make sure you have these lines of code um the r tone mapper sharpen r tone mapper grain quantization r tone mapper quality this is the vignette and the tone mapper film i think that is the uh film grain i think and also this one's important as well the script engine render settings are a tone mapper sharpen oh i have it already I have it twice but anyways doesn't matter just you know add this if you want if you want or just um like i said just if you just want to get rid of maybe I don't know fog or anything like that then you know uh go into the original mod copy all the stuff like so and then paste it into the engine and just activate or deactivate accordingly by um adding either a zero or a one and that is it and after you're finished make sure you right click on your engine i and i go into properties and tick on read only apply okay that way when you start up the game it will prevent the game from reactivating the stuff that you don't want activated and that is it for the engine.ini settings this is a, another mod that i found and this is much easier it comes to read me 
read it if you want. Um, it's right here. It says basically it's a pack file, and I'll show you in a minute where to drop it. Or you know, it's right here. Like I said, you can read it. What you want to do is go into your Black Myth Wukong. Quickest way to it is right click on the game, install files, browse, go into B1 and find it in content and packs. Naturally, by default, you're not going to have a folder that says mods, so make sure you create one. I'm sure you guys know how to create a folder. Just put right click in the folder itself and click on new folder and then name it to mods but make sure you have that weird squiggly line in front of it I forgot the name of the symbol I think it's a tilde 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 whatever it's called uh, create that and have lowercase mods open it up and these are the three mods that I have installed and this is this one and this is the black myth Wukong SPF so all you have to do is click and drag it in there I have it there so I don't I'm not gonna redo it the enhanced visuals it's the same exact thing you right click it unzip it with 7-zip and it's right here and I have it already so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it and just click and drag it over and that's it um, I re-enable the fog because of the other settings so um, just to make doubly sure that the fog is enabled, I downloaded the complimentary, the additional fog enabler. Yeah. And that is it. So I tried it. I, I just literally just before I started making this video, I tested these mods out in game and it, it works beautifully. Uh, there's a particular area I noticed um, in game where I was getting like uh, frame drops and like micro stutters and all kinds of stuff and yeah it was pretty bad but with these mods installed perfect I was no more stutters I was getting a flat 60 and it was pretty smooth so yeah that's really about it um, the last but not least and you don't have to do this if you, you don't have a 4090 or 4080, don't even bother trying to add reshade because uh, you, uh, yeah, you will lose frames. But for those with, you know, powerful enough PCs, if you want to add reshade, this is how you do it. Make sure you go into, you know, I'll just show you the, the site. Go into reshade. Reshade.me. Here's a site right here. And just scroll all the way down and download the latest one. And after you do that, yeah, here I do have the latest one. It's 6.2.0 as the time of this video. And you just uh, right click it, run as admin, browse, and yeah, it's right here already since this is the last one, but uh, the last game I installed reshade on but in case I'll just show you where to go I had this game installed on my local C drive because it's a fast drive it's an NVMe and the default path is programs or yeah program files dot or program files x86 go into steam steam apps open up common and find black myth wukong it's right here and b1 go to binaries windows 64 and make sure you select the b1 dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe select that exe open it up click next and reshade already knows which direct x version it is and well it says 10 11 12 it's right here hit next see i have it already so i'm not going to install it but um yeah if you if it's the first time you're not going to see these you're, you're not going to see this window but just hit all right you know what i'll do that finish okay um 
uncheck all and then recheck all and add all files you don't have to if there's a particular preset that you found on nexus then you can just um yeah just install it that way just choose the the reshade i and i for that particular preset but for me i i liked pretty much like every every like effect but i do it for a certain reason because there's there's like a ton of stuff that i like to to add to it um that's sometimes missing from other presets so to be in the safe side if you want all effects just literally check like everything and it shouldn't take that long it takes takes me like five seconds and yeah that is it that's how you install reshade and those are the mods that i recommend you install for increased performance and it looks great and yeah that's it i'm having a blast playing this game so anyways without further ado here we go uh yeah this is part two of my walkthrough i'll you know i'll probably play for like two or three hours and i'll continue the next part maybe the next day or in a couple of days all right i'll see you in a bit all right what's up guys welcome back and here is part two of my playthrough of black myth wukong i forgot to mention by the way if anybody is having any issues or complications starting this game in english with english text then all you have to do is you have to go into the settings because this happened to me i don't know if there was some kind of update or something but what happened was i well, I did uninstall the game because I was having some issues with Reshade, or so I thought it was some kind of issue with Reshade. But what happened was I there was some kind of new NVIDIA drivers update or something. And for some reason, it wasn't functioning well with the game. And it took forever for the game to load. So I thought that it was possibly the reshade that was uh making the game not start i don't know what happened but i i ended up just uninstalling it and doing a fresh install and unfortunately i lost my save so uh just be careful with uninstalling the game or uh i think you should check go into your steam settings and make sure you have like cloud settings or something on which i have off for uh various reasons that I'm not going to get into right now, but it had to do with Skyrim. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, so when I reinstalled the game, for some odd reason, this is the icon right here. Before, everything was in friggin' in Chinese. And I can't read Chinese. I can speak it, but I can't read it. So, I don't know which one was the language, but it's that icon with the bubble figures, right? looks like subtitles so if it happens then whichever is the first one it will be in chinese by the way if you have if you have this certain because i actually i went into the steam page and some i think i read somewhere some people were experiencing it uh there is some kind of like uh there's some kind of glitch or something that is making the game start with like native chinese text and everything so what you want to do is go go into the text see it was this this is what it looked like when i when i try to start the game so i i can't read any of this stuff but this is this is the option this is the kanji writing for options apparently and you just go into here and you find this bubble this speech thingy this looks like a square with three dots go into here and then there you go switch over to english so uh i you know you could the speech this is just the audio i have it in chinese because i prefer to play the game in its native language i have even movies and every game that has their native language doesn't matter i i like to hear it with its language this native language to me it brings more immersion and 
increases the level of authenticity. But I digress. So that is it. Yeah, subtitles on. So yeah, if anybody's having this uh this particular glitch, that's how you do it. All right, so I'm just looking over some settings, make sure I have everything set correctly. Frame generation DLSS is on, full ray tracing, and everything is on cinematic. And that is it. So we're going to continue. And after I hit continue, as soon as the game starts, I will show you my reshade settings. But just remember, this is a matter of taste in terms of your aesthetics, which look you want. Some people complain that it looks too saturated and, you know, or it's too vibrant. For me, I think it's perfect. I think it looks great. And I will show you what it looks like. This is with the reshade off and this is on. So it's really up to you. If you're concerned about performance and you want as many frames as possible, I do not advise you install reshade and just leave it alone. But if you have at least an RTX 4080, preferably a 4090 or 4090 users out there, then you should have enough headroom to install reshade. And I think it, it, it looks beautiful to me. It vibrant, it's vivid. The blacks, the dark colors, the shadows are very, you know, they're, they're dark. And I found a particular filter that increases um, some of the, the bright colors. So here it is right here after you install Reshade. The default button to activate it or to turn it on is home on your keyboard. And this is what it looks like. I suggest you hit performance mode. Let me... Hold on one second. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Okay, I'm recording. Good. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Okay. These are the particular filters that I have. It's it, it's really up to you. I found a particular reshade preset that I really like. And I mentioned this in other videos. But for those of you who are viewing this, um, who don't know what I'm talking about, this preset is called Real Life Reshade. I initially found this in Cyberpunk on the Nexus Mods page. And I just, ever since I've seen this particular preset, I was hooked and I use it with pretty much every single game that I install Reshade on. That's how awesome it looks to me. But like I said, it's a matter of personal preference and taste. But these are the filters that is natively activated with this particular reshade. But if you can't find it, then do what I instructed you to do earlier, and that is to install all of the effects on reshade. And you should have you should find this. So one of the, the one of the filters that I recommend you use is something called Lightroom, Quint underscore underscore Lightroom dot FX, DPX, Clarity, Levels, HDR, and Vibrance. If you want to see what each one does, I'm ticking it on and off. Big HDR makes things darker. Levels, same thing. It makes the blacks look blacker. Clarity, I guess it makes things look clearer. DPX, it, it makes the, the light colors or the bright colors brighter. And I'm not really sure what Lightroom does, but you can see a subtle effect. If you're not sure what it, you know, which each filter does, you can hover your mouse over it. And you can read there is a brief synopsis and description of each filter and what it does. So right here it says Lightroom is a color grading toolbox that offers a multitude of features commonly found in color grading software. You can do deep color modifications, adjust contrast and levels, tweak blur, uh, tweak color balance, view a histogram and bake the CC into a 3D look. I don't know what that means, but you know what? It looks good. 
So here are the settings. What I suggest you do is go into it says effect toggle key. I have mine set to page down. You can set yours to whatever you like. Space bar, whatever, you know, something that you can remember, something that it's not going to interfere with your gameplay. For me, page down, I've been I use page down as a hotkey for pretty much every game. Down, where is it? Load only enable effects. I suggest you do that. That's what I have, so it makes things easier. But I'm gonna untick it. So I'm gonna show you the multitude of filters that you can choose. Here we go. And here it is. <laughs> it's a lot of effects. But my recommendation is the ones that I have ticked. I used to have filmic sharpening or adaptive sharpening, but the problem with this game is um, a lot of a lot of the textures and everything is too sharp, which I installed a mod for, by the way, it unsharpens it. So there's no sense of adding adaptive sharpening when I got rid of it. So I don't know if you could see that, but it makes things it makes things sharper, all right, but you'll you'll notice some kind of strange artifacting and certain things even look kind of alias and too kind of sharp and jaggedy. So I suggest you uh, don't use any filmic sharpen or adaptive sharpen with this one. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, like I said, these are the filters that I use. You can use whatever you want. It's up to you. Play around with it. But these are my main staples don't you know try not to activate too many because it will you will take a fps hit if i were to estimate oh by the way if you want to see a constant um fps count is a counter there is it's right here right here at the bottom there's it's right next to show clock it says show fps and you'll find it all the way up in this corner i i have that showing i pretty much have that showing in every game that i play so i know when you know my frames are taking a hit so all right with that said that is it these are the filters uh this is my suggestion but you know what use can do whatever you want but um yeah that's it that's all i have to say and oh by the way make sure you uh tick this box it says performance mode because as you know this game is like very very resource intensive all right and once again here here it is here is i'm hitting my hotkey page down off and here's reshade on all right so that's it um this is part two of my walkthrough if you enjoy my content, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel and also share my videos and click those notifications. All right, here goes. Before I started recording today, I spent like an hour or two just grinding. Because like I said, I'm not very good at this game. Or these kinds of games, so... I'm gonna need as many skills as possible. Beautiful game, though. I mean, even without the reshade... This game looks incredible, but with the reshade, with everything maxed out, this is just... Wow. And with the mods I have installed... Um, my performance is a, is, is a bit better, which I need because of the reshade. So with these mods, I think I'm, I'm getting at least maybe 5, maybe 10 extra frames, I don't know. But the stuttering is pretty much non-existent. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a particular area. Where is it? 
I'm going to go back to the beginning of the game. I'm going to show you a particular area where I had trouble. And I even seen other content creators' videos where it's the same exact area where I notice a lot of frame drops and micro stutters. So just to show you, I'm not bullshitting. I forgot which way to go. Okay, I think this. Yeah, it is up this way. Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, this game's very confusing. I mean, once you get used to it, you'll start to memorize the layout, but it's taking me a little while. I, wait, which way do I go? Okay, it's this way. All right, yeah, here is the altar. Once I get used to the controls, when it becomes like second nature to me, I'm gonna turn the HUD completely off, which I do like in pretty much in every game. So I really like the immersion with um, very minimal HUD. You know what? Let me just rush through this. I want to... Alright, beat that friggin' big-headed boss. Pain in the friggin' ass. I died like 20 times. Finally beat him. Didn't record it, though. And I almost died, actually. I, I won by pure luck. Alright, I think the area is coming right up. It's up in this direction. I know that for sure. It's right here, I believe. Where I was getting a lot of frame drops. And as you can see, look, I'm still getting 60. So these mods are friggin' they're they're really it's a it's like it's a must have for sure. Really improved my performance. Yeah, this area as well. I was getting like... I was losing about maybe... Between 5 and 10 frames. And now it's just... It's smooth. And I'm reporting as well. I'm reporting in 4K. And it's still smooth. With max style settings. Oh, I... Okay. Yeah, this area is... Alright, I lost about one frame though. There's a bit of a stutter. Look at that light. And this is why, by the way, I decided to uh, reactivate the volumetric lighting and the fog. Because, yeah, it, it controls the god rays. And I think that's one of the things that really makes this game. It gives it that, that overall beautiful aesthetic look to it, is, uh, is the lighting. The volumetric fog, the god rays, and the and uh in the deep shadows you know i should oh there's a save up another 
the third area. I got another boss coming up. It's a friggin' it's a massive wolf. Oh you bastard. Look at that foliage, man. That's amazing. These leaves. Yeah, when you turn the... What is it? Not the global illumination. The volumetric fog and the fog off, you won't see that in the background. Yeah, I, I really think that it really adds to the game, like I said, and it gives it that that sense of mystery and beauty to this game so you know if you're like i said you know if you're having performance issues then you know by all means deactivate it but if you're spoiled like me and you like as much eye candy as possible then don't deactivate it by default it's activated so. this is incredible All right, I have to go up this way. Wait, and before I forget... Shit, okay. If you're gonna... Re if you're gonna use reshade, go into display. Where is it? And go to image calibration. See, I have my brightness at 53 you're gonna want to increase it a little bit you know i'm gonna increase it to like 55 make it a little brighter than usual because with the reshade it's gonna make things a bit dark well depending on the filters that you choose but if you're gonna use levels curves fake hdr you're uh yeah it's gonna make things dark like the darker areas All right, here is a new area, and there's a massive friggin' wolf up there. And I got a feeling I'm going to get my ass beat. Hey, this game is pretty challenging. Not as hard as, you know, Elden Ring or any of the Dark Souls or From Software games, but it's for me, it's challenging because, I, you know, like I said, I suck these games. I'm going to save it. See if I can buy anything. Oh, no, I can't buy nothing. All right, I don't know what this is. Anti-miasma powder. Alleviating medicine. Upon use, instantly remove poison state. Okay, some kind of, uh, what do you call that? Debuff of some kind. Gets rid of poison. Uh, I'm not... I don't think I've gotten poisoned yet, so... Alright, here it goes. Ling, I can't pronounce that. Ling Zuzi. Fuck. Holy shit.
Get up, get up. Yo, my heal wasn't working. Damn, man. Oh, he's gonna jump right at me. Oh, you prick. Dude, I just wasted that. I'm dead. fingers. Damn, bro. Almost had him. Yao Guai King. Ling Zuzi. Ling Zuzi. Uh, I'm botching that one up. All right, let's try this again. Oh, damn, he's ready, ready. Yo, I gotta work on my dodge, man. Get up. Missed him. Frick. Dude. I'm getting too greedy. I'm just button mashing at this point. You're finished. Did you just call me? I'm a search area. I 
Ah, collectibles. Alright, there is nothing here. We go save it. Re up my health and what do you call that thing? That wine gourd. I don't know. I'm going to stick with this, my foundation. I'm going to boost up the stamina. I can always respect later if, if I want to change my build, so... Celestial Jade Lotus Pill. Celestial Medicines. A miraculous pill concocted by the god of longevity in the southernmost reaches of the land that massively increases maximum health. Oh, nice. Health increase. See if there's like a fork in the road. Oh, it's collision here.
It's a chest. A tree trunk. here secret area wow look at the lighting you see the glow off of uh, the character model okay now there's diverging paths here let me see something What did I just do? Oh, okay. Where did I just come from? Here, right? I think. Snakehead mushroom. Okay. I wonder if it's one of the circumstances in this game, in terms of the the layout, where it's like, uh, I don't know, what do you call that? All roads lead to Rome kind of deal? I don't know if that's a good metaphor, but... Oh shit, I forgot about that. Damn, I just got poisoned. I wasn't paying attention. Powder, anti miasma, and tonifying something. The lighting so beautiful. Alright, here's two different paths, I think. That way, and I can go this way. I can... Wait a minute, there's a fast travel, so I can come back. And explore different areas, so... I hope. Yeah, I can. I don't understand why I wouldn't be able to. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go left for now. Where's that coming from? Who the hell is that?
Oops. Oh, okay. You know what? Let me go back. Damn. Yikes. Okay, now things start. Things are gonna start getting confused. Confusing. What the hell is that? Oh, you bastard. Yo, I don't look. Okay. Where the hell am I? I should have gone up. I should have gone up those stairs. I'm dead. This is confusing, bro. Go up there. Mm. Right, I came from here. I'm dead. Yep. Oh, that's good anyway, so I can... I wanted to go back to my last checkpoint.
All right, snake trail. All right, this time I'm gonna go up the stairs. Oh, who's this? Lushan 这才像样,不能装天,却可渡人。当去吃念,早入轮回。the blessed gourd under the guidance of a wise master the destined one has mastered the art of spirit absorption the gourd possesses remarkable divine capabilities allowing it to absorb the lingering wills of spirits left behind by former yao guys oh wait a minute i think i can go back <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try that actually. Hold on a second. Travel. Wait, retrieve spirits. What's this? Ah! Nice! Self advance. Cultivate spirits? What? what does this mean? Take the form of wandering white. Bow with utmost devotion and ram the foe with your bronze skull, dealing massive damage. Watch demo. Oh, nice. Like Bonk's Adventure. Okay. Cultivate. Alright, so I can upgrade this particular character or spirit, whatever it is, six times. Alright. Wait, set spells. Red tides, immobilize. No, no. How do I do? I don't get it. Set spells. That's not it. Uh, hmm. Transformations? No. Mysticism. Oh, okay. I see at the bottom. Right trigger plus left trigger. Alright, you know I'm gonna go... I'll stick to the right path for now. Let's see what happens. Right, I don't need to talk to this dude. I talked to him already.
I'll just start memorizing these areas. Wait, I just... I think I'm going all the way around. See what I did here. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's starting. To, things are starting to make sense. Well, why did I do, dude? What the hell? What did I just do? Spirit skills, when key or chi is full, press the right trigger and left trigger to, to launch spirit skills. Transforming into a powerful Yao Guai to unleash their signature signature abilities cost chi, which can be recovered by absorbing blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of different ones. That I can get. All right, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, might as well change. The mask, gray wolf mask. I got increased defense. Anything else? Yo, this one's kind of cool. I like this one. You'd think that would have more defense, but it doesn't. This one has 16. Okay. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm going to settings. I think camera. Is it? No. Me gameplay. Okay. Auto switch. Lock on. No. Yeah, you know what? Auto lock when attacking. I, I find myself always um i feel compelled to press the, the r the right stick all the time and i wish it would just automatically do it wait auto lock on when attacking auto target when attacking is that the same fucking thing You know what? I'll turn that on for now. Auto switch? No. Alright, we'll see what happens. So it makes things easier. Okay, I can go down into those... What do you call those things? It's like, like a wheat field. Or I can go up in this direction. Wait, I think I came from here. All right, I came from here. All right, so I think that's the way to go then. All 
Alright, where's that old man? I don't want to jump down. Ugh. Okay, here's the old dude. Wait. Where'd he go? Yeah, I have like severe OCD, so I want to memorize everything. Back up here is, and you go all the way around that direction. That leads ultimately to that save point right there. Now this, what's this down here though? Let's see, where does this lead to? This is confusing, man. Wrong way. can't tell which direction I'm, you know what? Stop it! I can't tell which direction I'm facing or going. What the hell, bro? Alright, here's the stairs. That's where I came from, right? Thank God this, like, this game is not technically open world. Holy shit. I mean, even Elden Ring is less confusing. Oh, my God. 
And there's so much friggin' dense foliage. Everything just kind of just blends in. What the hell is that? Oh, that's not good. Come on, man. I don't fuck this. There you go. Drink up. And here is another area. I can't even see the enemies. It's like they blend in. Oh no, not, not again. Monkey head fungus. That doesn't sound too good. Look super low res. <laughs> and yeah, okay, that's another area. Possibilities. Um, okay, and here's where I came from. Damn, I need some health. And that's another area I can go to. I'll save that for another time. Let me just go this way first. Yeah, man. Beautiful game, but very confusing. Okay, it's up in this direction. Let's see what's up here. Please be a dead end. All right. Okay. Man, there's nothing here. Hmm. That sucks that you can't knock down these bamboo freaking trees. Yeah, that would require, like, a lot of memory, though. So, especially, you know, like, to make every friggin' object destructible. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I think... Yeah, there's a campfire. I remember that. What's up here? What's up here? No. Where's that campfire? Bad textures is there. Uh, collisions here. Okay, here it is. 
All right, I'm not gonna go in there yet. It's probably a freaking boss arena, guaranteed. It's probably gonna be a freaking amped up boss where I'm probably gonna have to come back to it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass beat here. Guaranteed, watch. Yep. Guangmo. Oh shit. What? Really? No warning. He just freaking attacks. You prick. And I'm dead. Yeah. I knew it. I knew I was gonna get my ass beat. Probably have to come here later. Wait, let me see. I hope I didn't lose any experience. I don't think I did. I don't think you do actually. Hold on a second. Self advance. Oh, fuck. Yo, I did lose. Wait, do I have any? Okay, wait. No, no, I have. Have some sparks. Oh man. You know, let me just max out this stamina. Um, which way? Let me go this way again. What the hell is he doing? So that's pretty much where I have to go. And you know what? I want to fight that dude again. It pisses me off. I don't feel like fighting these dudes again. Yeah, I'm going to run past them. See, uh... You, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Missed him. Fuck. Dude, that's... No, stop it! Oh, this guy is tricky. Oh, what? Snakes? I can't see! Yo, I'm at... Oh my god, bro. 
I'll come back. Oh wow. Ooh. Uh alright, I'm gonna get ambushed, guaranteed. I can't see anything. Ooh, dude. Yeah, this is not good. Alright, it's bad enough I gotta figure out where to go. Now I can't even see can't even see the enemies. Okay, I came from here, right? Fuck. Okay. Oh, damn. Is that a boss? Oh, what? It's a frog! Eep! Dude, what the... Stop it! Alright, I gotta study this piece. And, and... He's licking me! Stop licking me! Oh, this shit is... Dude... Ooh, right in your froggy head. Fuck you, frog. Okay, and so I could use a frog spirit. Oh, okay, from here. Let me see. All right, now we got two paths. This way, and, th and that way. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. See something green up there. All right, let me see. There's probably a cave, right? Oh. Okay, dead end. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm confused again. Okay, no, I came from there. Super bright. Zorb. I guess I'm supposed to drop. Durr. 
Oh, shit. Um, I have a feeling... Yeah, it's one of those situations. All roads lead to Rome. Okay. Might as well try to level up at least one. Um, what do you call that one point? Yeah, I don't like the way the god rays look. They look weird. Yeah, it looks choppy. The hell? It could be the mods. Damn it. Yeah, it's probably the friggin' mods. I should have never fucked around with it. Hey, he's waiting for me. Hey, hey, hey! Come on, man! Where'd he go? You prick. Please. You know what? Let me use this guy. What the fuck was that? How come I can't. Bro. What just happened?
Frick. Stop it. You again? I gotta, I gotta figure out how to use the, that big-headed spirit, dude. Just a little confusing. Come here, motherfucker. It's not doing it. He does it like one, bro. drink. Yo, my fucking button's not working, bro. Yeah, I gotta get a new controller. Fucker. Got you. Almost got you. Piece of shit. Suck on that. Okay, that is the main direction, so I'm going to go in, in the opposite direction. Stairs here, and... Okay, this is collision, 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 <laughs> collision. See a pattern developing here? Alright, I'm going to go up this way. It's... Uh, that's one thing I don't like... I, you know, I mean, in a way, I'm grateful that it is kind of linear, but this is a little off-putting. Like, you'd think you could go up there, right? But these invisible walls, it just kind of messes up the immersion. Okay, alright, there's only one way to go then. I don't know what the significance of these, these bells are.
，小神有种不好的预感。中祥之后，后山传来的怨气似乎更重了一些。算了算了，想那么多做甚？现在山里大大小小的妖精都知道你闯进来了，干脆一鼓作气，把他们收拾干净吧。on my controller yeah no wonder why this delayed uh reactions just so i hate about this freaking xbox controller man it's it connects to the bluetooth but it's not very accurate with the bluetooth i can't explain it it's like sometimes it it starts spinning around on its own the buttons are like a second or two late <sighs> i'm gonna have to play wired Let me see what's in the store. I can't buy nothing. I really want to buy this stuff. Back. See, I'm pressing B. Nothing's happening. Yeah, man. These buttons aren't working too well. It's like delayed by, by like a split second. And in this game, every second, every split second freaking counts. Sometimes it delays actual, it's an actual full second. Alright, what is this? Gather. Loja. Loja. Fragrant, fragrant, uh, did it say wine or vine? You know, this game is a look, it's a bit like a boss rush. They were right. I mean, how many bosses did I fight already? Like, like four or five? Oh, are these new? New enemies? Resave it. Where is it? Rest. Oh, brew? Coconut wine. Each sip. Restores 33% of maximum health. Select some of this. Using the gourd. Moderately increases the poison. I don't know what this means. In soap. Uh, I'm a little confused. Sell. I think I could sell these, right? Um, wait. Do I have any?
No, I don't. Greg. Alright. Oh, I didn't... Stop it. Why didn't I rest? He's in there. Let me see what's this thing. It's this chest. What does that say? Oh, it's just gold. What was that? Alright, where are you at, you friggin' monkey? Where you go? There he is. Let me break all your shit. Oh, no. Why did I do that, man? See, I thought there'd be collision there. Can I go back up? Well, at least I can't fall off. Alright, let's try this again. Upgrade, damn, there's a lot of upgrading in this game. Upgrade drinks, upgrade gourds, brew. Store, let me see what's here. The hell is this shit? For a brief moment after using the gourd, slowly, um, slowly recovers a small amount of health. Okay. Mm. Upgrade drinks. Oh, nice. Increases gourd uses. Cool. Yeah, I need that. Okay. Oh, that's it. from here Another freaking boss fight. Feng Xi, Feng Xi, what? Yeah, it's another boss fight, of course. The hell is this dude? White clad noble. Wait, is he a snake? Some kind of reptile. Oh, you bastard. Yo! What? Yo, I'm getting, I'm getting fucked up. Now he's talking shit too. Wow. 
like that. Shut up. Oh, I think you got him. Oh, no, I don't got him. Yo! Oh, bro. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, drink, drink, drink. Yo, it's, it's okay, it's just one hit. Phase two? Come on, bro. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. Yo, I'm gonna have to level up, man. I'm dead. I'm dead. I thought I had him. I got too cocky. This game is like a friggin' boss rush. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time and I'm gonna stop the video. I'm probably gonna spend a little time not recording and just kinda I don't know, level up. Man. I have to friggin' fight this guy twice. Yeah, look at him. He's waiting for me. Already, already getting fucked up. Come on, man. He's got so much fucking reach. Actually, starting to piss me off. Come on, 
He's not. Yo, the the left bump, the fucking left bumper's not working. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. And they're gonna make you watch the cutscene. I can't skip it. Catching me, man. Drink, drink, drink. Bro. Yeah, I'm good. No way! <laughs> that was pure luck. That was pure friggin' luck. I should have lost this fight. There better not be a friggin' third round. I'm gonna be pissed off. Is give me your friggin' soul, you sneaky, slithery bastard. Craft, what can I craft? Oh, weapons. What the hell is this? Equipped. What the hell is this? Huh? Twin serpent staff? Okay. 
Or that's 40. All right, let me see something. No, 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 stop it. Dude. Equipped. Um, craft armor. Owned. Ha ha. Ooh, 18. It goes up by two. I need all the defense I can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Poison resistance. Owned. Equipped. Nice. Oh, massively reduces stamina cost when in water. Oh, man. Maybe I should go back to the other one, though. All right. You know what? Okay. We rest. Uh, hmm. There's yarn. Stone spirit. So. Interesting. Epic. Poison damage. Let me equip that. Let me try it. Attack 40. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, fuck it. All right, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits because I don't know how long I'm playing. I'm playing for a while. Upgrade. Oh, I need more materials. What do I need? What do I need though? Oh, I need fragrant. The Laoja fragrant wa uh, fragrant vine. Okay. Awaken wine worm. Shut up. No, no. Okay, I guess I have to go that way. Or that way. You know what? Let me try going this way first. Tell me it's not a freaking boss. Oh. This. Oh boy. Oh, who the hell are these people? Or er, not people.
It's a stupid bell thing. Still don't understand the significance in it of it though. Wish there was more more of an impact sound when you're knocking these pillars down. this this NPC's hanging dude hung himself Ancient Guan Yin Temple. Where am I? What? Wait a minute. How did I end up here? Alright, I'm confused. fight, right? Okay, I think I'm... Ch Wait a minute. I probably was here, but... Probably one of those things where you travel back in the past or something, or it's like an alternate. Open the chest. Alternate. Dimension, timeline, same place, but a but a different friggin' dimension. Yeah, yeah, I just said that. Whatever. Uh, hmm. Just be breaking everything here. Let's get the main stuff. I can travel at least. I hope. Oh, 
Oh shit. Elder Jinji. Oh, he told me to bless you. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Oh, oh my god. Dude, one hit. Look at that. And of course. And of course. Oh, this dude's fucking me up. Get away from me! Oh, dude. Secret ancient Guanyin temple. You know what? Offer incense. I thought, I thought I did. Okay. I'm gonna travel. Bamboo Grove. There. Snake trail. No. Yeah, let me go here. I'll come back later. Oh, nice. After absorbing... I thought I said lingerie. <laughs> After absorbing the lingering will, moderately increase maximum health and mana for a long duration. I don't know what that means. After absorbing the lingering will? Oh, whatever. Oh, I'll look at this later. Alright. Where, where do I want to go? I'm not going there. This is where I wanted to go. Let's see what this area is first. Let's see who's down here. Black Wind Cave. Hmm. It's kind of dark. Oh. Uh. Okay.
Can I drop? No. Alright. I came from this area. Just making sure. Stop it. Well, this guy's tricky. Oh, he knows what's up. New enemy to add to the roster. Okay, should I go right? Oh, I only see an enemy up there. Or should I go left? Right or left? Let's go right first. You beat this trick's ass. I'm just picking anything. Check the other direction first. Uh, exhaust all possible paths. Oh. See, in places where you think there'd be collision, there isn't. Uh, of course, no collision here either. Meditate. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Celestial I pill. The Thai e pill. A uh, miraculous pill crafted by a king father of the east on the mountain of Bang Zhang that increases maximum mana. I see. Nice. And meditate.
damn, man. I want to visit China one day. Well, I've been to, I've been to Hong Kong, but never been to actual like rural China. Always wanted to visit the Guilin Mountains. They're these mountains that they're they're shaped like dildos. They look like penises, but they look really cool though. I think the first time I saw them was in a video game actually, Shenmue. And ever since then, I was like, damn, I would love to visit China and see those mountains. Very otherworldly looking. boss fight. Damn, they really don't let you rest. <laughs> really? Of course, it's another boss. Oh, this dude's gonna... Black Wind King. Oh, this dude's gonna beat my ass. Look, this dude's jacked. Guan Yin Chan Yuan. Guan Yin Chan Yuan. Guan Yin Chan Yuan. Guan Yin Wafujerdao,是我。亲手将他们超度。我甚至把那些经书残卷一一复原。哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈
просто. Refire? Yo. Oh my god, bro. Fucking hell. Cocksucker. You fucking cocksucker. Sanchi, Jesus, can't a Hali Husha, she's a bunanjawa. 
，这黑风怪学艺不精，去了趟南海也不见长进。他刚才的几番变化，遗留了不少元气在此。正好，小老儿收下来用。行散气，无痕无迹，里面门道大得很，自己慢慢领悟吧。嗨All right, everybody, that is it. I'm going to call quits. I'm getting, like, really aggravated. Um, damn, man. That dude freaking destroyed me. Took me, like, ten tries. I'm just going to, I'm going to edit all my deaths out. Freaking embarrassing, man. Anyhow, yeah, great game, but it's frustrating. It's pretty challenging. At least it's not too easy. It's not Elden Ring frustrating, but it, you know... Uh, part of the problem, like I mentioned earlier, is my controller, the buttons, like the left bumper, to replenish my health. I have to press it two or three times in order for uh, the this friggin' monkey here to drink his friggin' malt liquor. So he can replenish his health. And, uh, uh, yeah. It's frustrating because I'm using the immobilization spell and it doesn't always work, apparently. I guess maybe it's when the enemy character is in, in the middle of a movement. I don't know. It just, it doesn't work. And what pisses me off is it gets wasted. So then you have to wait for it to basically replenish again. And so it, that's, that's freaking frustrating. But like I said, challenging game, beautiful game. And yeah, it's, it's this game's going to keep me occupied for probably the next week or two. So, all right, with that said, let me get out of here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, yeah, apologize for the screaming. I deeply apologize for the screaming, but when I get into games, I really get into it and, ah, uh, very frustrating. All right. So yeah, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Probably, I won't probably, I probably won't make another video for another day or two. This video is going to take me a while to edit and it takes hours half a day for it to even upload all right so with that said i'm out of here have a great night and yeah i'll see you when i see you take care bye bye <laughs>